The CERTI mission um, is an important project working with our US partners at the Naval Research Laboratory. Um, it's a small satellite mission which is focused on characterising the dynamic nature of a region of our atmosphere called the ionosphere. The whole topic that we're looking at is actually called space weather. So it's the effects of the, of the sun on the Earth where the radiation from the sun affects our planet and in particular it affects all our technological systems. Weather uh, in the ionosphere is much more dynamic than terrestrial weather uh, that we experience down on Earth. Um, but we know less about it. Typically, we like to think that understanding of space weather is around 50 odd years behind where we see terrestrial weather uh, understanding at the moment. The reason why space weather is important in a technological sense is because it creates very large electrical currents in the upper atmosphere and fluctuations in the Earth's magnetic field. The whole of modern society would just come to a stop if we had a massive geomagnetic storm. So we need to be able to monitor it at the same level that we monitor meteorological weather. The impact of space weather on our modern way of life um, has significant relevance to both civil and defence systems and this mission is our opportunity to really look in quite a lot of dynamic detail um, at what happens um, and to be able to capture that information and demonstrate the value of being able to ingest that into sophisticated models. The data, for instance radiation data, is going to help us better understand uh, the kind of materials uh, the spacecraft should be made from. The um, ion, ion and neutral mass spectrometer is going to give us that information about the density in the ionosphere. All of these things, all of these, um, this data can be fed into modelling uh, which uh, can, will better improve our understanding of the ionosphere and its variability over time. I'm really, really proud to have been able to work with such esteemed um, colleagues from the UK. The entire team has worked incredibly hard on this mission, so really proud of the team um, and I'm really excited to start looking forward to some of the data that we're going to get back from this. <laughs>